today we are installing complete on our Microsoft Service Pro 3 and I just want to go through uh, some tips and things you need to consider before you install complete or any sort of plug-in instruments that have large sample libraries. All right, so let's go ahead and install complete nine here. Now, of course, we want to go over some tips uh, about installing large sample library uh, instruments. So you can see this is 120 gigs. Now, on your Surface, you're going to have probably a smaller hard drive. Now, unless you have like the Surface Pro 4, which with like the one terabyte hard drive, then you may not have to consider this. But you'll need to consider where do you want to install all of this content to? You know, where do you want to install this to? Now, do we have room on our, our internal hard drive? Yes, we do. But do we really want to fill it up with sample content? I say no, because there's a lot of stuff we're going to have to do with that hard drive. Other options you might have is maybe the SD card, but again, SD cards really only, only go up to about 200 gigs right now, and they're gonna run you a, quite a premium for a legitimate 200 gig card. I don't think that's the best option. So what I'm going to do or and suggest is, is maybe you should try an external hard drive. So we're going to use an external USB hard drive. It's bus powered, so we don't have to plug it into anything but our Surface. and you know, with USB in it, and it will draw power from our surface. Now, one thing you have to realize by using an external hard drive like this is that will need to be connected, you know, if you want to use the sample, the sample content. I'll get into a little more about that later on. But uh, so that, that, that's what we're going to install all of the sample content to is an external USB hard drive. Another thing to consider is how are we going to install this? You know, we have a surface. There's no optical drive. There's no DVD drive. So I would suggest you grab an external USB uh, DVD CD drive. Okay, this is USB. Just plug it right into the back of our Surface, and we can install that way. Now, of course, you can log into your Native Instruments account and download this content, but I already have the content, so why would I want to waste two, three, four, five hours downloading 120 gigs of content when I have it here? Trust me, a $30 investment into an external uh, CD drive, a DVD drive, will it will pay off for years to come. But now we run into another predicament. So we have a USB a DVD drive, and then we have a USB hard drive, but the Surface, you know, the Surface only has one USB drive on it. So you're gonna have to get a USB hub, or uh, we're in the dock right now, so the dock, just flip it around here, the dock has USB ports on it, okay, and that's where our hard drive and our CD DVD drive is plugged into. All right, so again, those are just things I want to make sure you're aware of. Things that you'll have to consider, uh, well, when you're whenever you're installing this or whenever you're using it. And finally, you'll also want to consider is, are you going going to be using a host like Pro Tools? You know, if we're going to use Pro Tools, that means we need an iLock attached. Again, we only have one USB drive on our Surface, so that means anytime we want to run Pro Tools and we want to run the sample content on our hard drive, we'll need to have the Surface in the dock or we'll need a USB hub. Okay, so just consider all of that stuff. Now let's go ahead and install complete on our Surface. Okay, so our USB DVD drive is connected. Our external hard drive is connected, again with USB. So we'll go ahead and start installing complete nine. Of course, we'll start with the very first disc. And I just wanna mention a few more things here that will show. Okay, so let's go ahead and start this setup. Okay, so let's go through these prompts here, and I just wanna talk a little bit about some of the other options you would have here. Okay, so in here in the custom setup, what one thing you may wanna consider is uh, if you want to just use the Surface without anything attached to it and you still wanna use these programs, you actually can, you know, things like Absinthe, FM8, massive you, know, you could just maybe just install just those like you could go in here to contact and say do not install if you wanted to or you could just install all the applications and install them right to your c hard drive and then for the content you could come down here and say entire feature will be unavailable right and you can see that dramatically drops down the required space okay so that's one thing you could do and then you'd have all of the applications on there that you could still use, but you just wouldn't have any of these sound libraries here. All right, so 
that's just one thing to consider. Another thing you could do is install one at, at a time. Like maybe you want to install some of the libraries for Reactor, or you want to install Reactor and some of the libraries. You could do that one at a time. But again, I'm not going to do that. We're just going to use our external USB hard drive. And what we can actually do is after we get everything installed to our external USB hard drive is we can always drag that content into a different location. Okay, so that way we have everything installed. We're not having to go through this list, uh, you know, a bunch of times and install things one at a time, choosing a different location each time. We can install everything to an external hard drive again, okay? And then say at some point we want to take just the surface with us and we don't want it to have any peripherals. Well, I can move those libraries over to say the SD card or, or right to the main hard drive of our surface and then we can use those libraries. Of course, we'll have to change the association in, in whatever program we're using. And then we could use those libraries with that program without having anything else attached. So I think this is the best thing to do is install to that external USB hard drive. Uh, you know, it, it just gives you a little more options and you're not filling up your, your uh, main hard drive, your only hard drive on your surface. What's, what's really taking up the majority of this space is gonna be the contact stuff, all of the contact libraries. So you could just maybe install contact, but don't install the libraries. And then later on, you could come back and install just a couple of the libraries that you want onto, you know, directly onto your surface. But again, like I said, we can always just move the library onto our surface uh, later on, which is, you know, which is what I want to do. I've talked enough about that. Let's go ahead and see it in action here. That's fine. So VST, that's fine. Now install complete nine libraries too. So you can see we need 72 gigs. All right. And I don't want to use that much space of my hard drive. This hard drive is 256 gigs. Yeah, I have enough space, but I don't, I don't want to take up that much space for these libraries. So I'll put it on our passport and to the native instruments folder. There we go. So now I'll just, uh, go through this installation process here. We'll zoom back out. So I'll just go through the installation process, you know, which I've already showed in a previous video of, you know, putting the DVDs in as soon as the ones are done there. And then uh, we'll look at maybe moving some samples over from this hard drive to our Surface hard drive. So this installation is probably gonna take an hour or two, so I'll be back whenever things uh, done. So hopefully you can see that everything is indeed installed. And again, that's on our external hard drive. Okay, so I just want, let me just show you that this actually does work here. So real quick, we'll just open up contact. All right, pop in here. You know, it's not really very touch friendly, the interface, but that's okay. Let's just, okay, there we go, loaded that up. Okay, okay it's making sound. Like I said, interface is not really touch friendly, but we, you know, we'll be using our pin anyway within a host to actually draw in MIDI. But there you go, it does work. But let's go ahead and uh, let me show you what I was going to show you about moving over the content that you would want to move over. So for example, I know I want the battery four factory library on my surface so that way I don't have to have the hard drive connected you know, all the time. And I've, I've actually already moved it over, put it over here in my documents, native instruments, and right there it is battery uh, four factory library, okay? So we have it in two places. Notice I did not delete it from our external hard drive. Okay, don't delete it. There's no reason to actually delete it. Just copy it over and copy anything else over you want. Like this RAM fire, I'll definitely want over here. Monarch, I'll want over here. They're relatively small files, which I don't mind having on our uh, Surface hard drive. But let me go, just go ahead and show you that, uh, open up battery four here. All right. And we'll come up here to edit. I'll zoom in so you can actually see. And I'll grab my pen. So we'll come up here to edit. And then we'll go to preferences and library. And you can see it's on the E drive, which is again, our external hard drive. Okay. So we'll go ahead and close this, close this. And, and we don't need to save anything. I'll actually unhook that hard drive. Okay. Completely gone. All right. Completely unhooked. And you know, while we're at it, I can actually unhook my, uh, CD, DVD drive too. Again, those things come in very, very handy. Uh, you know, more and more computers are not having optical drives 
CD, DVD drives included on them. So they're really handy to, to uh, have around. Let's go ahead and launch battery four again here. Okay. Now if I go to load something, it's not going to load. So I can retry, ignore. I'll just hit ignore all there. I'll come up to edit again and preferences and library. And we'll change this location, okay? So we'll come in here and let me uh, zoom in again so you can actually see here. Actually, I'll, I'll hit abort there so you can see what I did. Just click right here on this folder, okay? And now we can search library or search file system. That would be fine, but I know exactly, you know, I know exactly where it is. So I'll just resolve it manually, but you know, you can do whatever you want. And I put it in my documents and native instruments and battery four factory library. So just choose that, hit okay, hit okay. And that makes the changes, you know, I'm doing quotes here, permanent. We can always change it again. All right, now we'll hit close. Now it has to scan through again, just like whenever you first start up battery. But now, again, this hard drive, I'll zoom out a little bit. This hard drive is not connected, okay? All of that stuff is, is actually on our surface. So now, you know, whenever we're just using just the surface, we don't have to worry. If we want to use battery, we don't have to worry about having a, you know, external hard drive plugged in. But we still have all of the data on the hard drive for any time we may want to switch around. Maybe, you know, maybe I want to install something else on my surface. And I need that space. Well, you know, I can just delete the library that's in my uh, C drive documents folder and then later on open up battery and relink that to our external drive. All right, so let's just make sure this works. I'll just load up something here. And not sure how, if we can hear that or not. All right, so there you go. So that is, you know, sort of just the point I wanted to make. Now this interface is not really touch friendly, but uh, you know, Kind of cool to mess around with. Okay, so just those are just some tips I wanted to uh, you know let everyone uh, think about whenever you're installing you know complete really anything that has large sample libraries any, anything you're installing on a surface you really need to think about storage space you know you don't want 120 gigs taking up all your space on your surface hard drive so. I'd invest in an external drive, and then you can always move over onto your surface, whatever you want, and know you'll need to use at any given time that you don't want to have to plug in your external drive for. So, you know, just things to think about. Again, having a, uh, you know, external CD, DVD, uh, USB drive always, always comes in handy. And of course, you know, there's some other things I want to move over, which I don't have this plugged in right now, but. Other things I want to move over, uh, like for some things for guitar rigs, some of the presets, and uh, some of the things for reactor, I want to move over as well. And you just follow that same procedure. Just drag it over to copy it. Don't don't move it. Don't delete it from from your actual hard drive. Leave it on the hard drive and just make another copy. You know, somewhere on your system. The documents folder, native instruments is is a good place in in our case. Okay, so just uh, keep that in mind. Just a few tips to consider whenever you're installing complete or really any large library. Uh, you know, plugins on a surface.